How's it hanging, Mr. Cooper? Y'all remember that show, Hanging with Mr. Cooper? I know you don't. It's all right. Um, in front of us is uh, Skyquake and Dreadwing. Um, I'm just going to be honest and tell you that I don't know anything about these characters. I don't know too much about Prime, but I will tell you that, like, dude, I think these figures are phenomenal. The build quality and the design aesthetic. Um, and in this video, um, you can see this guy. He's been put in this kind of, like, fan mode to kind of resemble more of his, like, show self. We have the wings pointed downward, the nose cone in the front and all of that. Um, and I'm going to walk you through it. But, you know, just <laughs> but before we do all of that, dude, like, and before I even go into this, yeah, I just wanted to say hello and thank you for joining me today. You are spending your most precious currency, which is time, on this channel. And uh, I certainly hope that you do not regret it um, <laughs> and that you find this time meaningful and fun, enjoyable, entertaining, etc. Okay? And so I appreciate you all for that. Um, but this character, dude, he's beautiful. The build quality is so nice. The ratchets, the tolerances, uh, the paint, the the everything, the accessories, just the way it cleans up. I don't know, man. Everything is just really, really premium about this toy. And I guess so. Like he's, I forget what class he is, but he was he's he's one of the more expensive ones, right? But um, but yeah, yeah. I I hope everyone who watched Prime, like you, tell me, is this the proper rendition of the character? Like, are you guys pleased? Because uh, as a G oneer, when I see a lot of the stuff in Legacy War for Cybertron, I'm very pleased, you know. So I'm always wondering what folks who watched either Prime or now like the animated stuff, Cybertron, Energon, like all of those, Armada, like whether you're pleased with the stuff that's coming out. And I, I I'm inclined to say yes, uh, just because man, all the stuff from the whole War for Cybertron Legacy series has been fire, right? I, I think it's been incredible. So um, anyway, anyway, yeah, these are one of those toys where it's like love at first sight kind of, you know, I just saw him and, and I liked them. I don't know anything about them. And then I just, just fell in love with them, which is kind of weird when we, when we use that for human terms, when we say love at first sight, that, that's a little bit weird, right? Is, isn't it really more like lust? You, th you thought that person was good looking because how can you love them if you don't know anything about them, right? Anyway, anyway, so, all right, we're going to start with this dude. And then first we're going to go in this mode over here. We're going to turn him into the more show accurate mode. I'm always having a problem with my focus and um, or it's me just with my bad eyes. But um, yeah, we're going to start with this mode first. OK, and then from there, we're going to be able to go into Gerwalk. Um, and so, yeah, the main thing that we're going to be doing is we want to point his wings down and we want that nose cone up in the front. And so you can see all of that is hidden in there. So we start by returning. Oh, the wings to the other side and don't do it like that. Don't do it like me. <laughs> Pay a little more respect and attention to your toy. Um, but we're going to return the wings to the other side as side, yeah, side as if we were going to go into um, alt mode. So we need to spin that waist around and then we need to bring these things. I mean, I know there's a way to get like 100% proper clearance, but I don't know. I just don't know how to do it. So we're just kind of bumping into some things and my bad, my bad. Okay. So now this would normally be the front, right? And so what you want to do is you want to turn that around. So now we have this bit and it's just like that. And you can see everything is still like tabbed in. The nose cone is still tabbed in. And so it's good. And we're more or less done. We can bring down the arms uh, and the neck is on a little slider, right? And so you can bring it back. And so it looks kind of like a la Macross Valkyrie. Uh, if you want to bring up the nose cone, you can actually. It won't tab into anything, but then you'll have the full, you know, plain schnoz kind of like hanging down on the front, um, like, like the Valkyries, Veritex and Robotex, so to speak. And so, yeah, I, I actually wondered if maybe perhaps they had toyed with this design first before uh, deciding on the other one, because I... Like, why would they put the wings the other way, you know, when they knew that this is how he's designed, right? Like, why, why would they do that? Like, I don't, I don't really know. And I'm just kind of, it's a rhetorical question. I'm just throwing it out into the ether. Wish I could push this back a little bit more, but uh, that's fine. So thankfully, the elbows are on a double joint and are on a double joint. And so you can actually kind of bend it forward here. You see what I mean? But if you don't like this unsightly stuff, I suppose you could pop the mushroom peg off. Should I try? Oh, it's 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 pretty tough. You know, I, I don't think I'm going to do it. But if you really wanted to and you like this mode and you wanted to keep them in there. And so, again, we can we can bring the shoulder pauldrons down, too. Um, but if you really wanted to, you could. You could put a little grease on there or something. But, yeah, because he has that double elbow bend, I don't know, man. 
it kind of works out okay. It kind of works out okay. So yeah, the hollow bits are probably the worst part about this mode, but it is a little bit more show accurate. And even this, you can just pop in the forearm and it doesn't really look like he's holding it in the forearm. It looks like he's holding it into it. By the way, if you hear me go, <laughs> it's because I'm drooling right now. I had some caffeine, like I had some tea. Oh, I forgot you're supposed to close this up. So everything kind of holds together. Whoopsies. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Nice. The back cleans up real, real well. Yeah, the design is just incredible. Very, very beautiful. But yeah, so now we have this kind of like more show accurate form. If you wanted to distinguish them from one another, you know, you can keep one in the default mode and then this other one you could basically put into, um, yeah, this, this version that we have right here, which is not too bad. So from here, what's kind of crazy is now that he kind of resembles his like Macross Valkyrie mode, you can put him in Gerwalk. Uh, Gerwalk is the guardian mode, the half plane, half, uh, half robot thing. And, um, yeah. Oh, but I was saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you hear me go, it's cause caffeine makes me, um, makes me salivate. And the tea that I'm drinking, it's a uh, English black tea has caffeine. Therefore I'm spitting and drooling. And that's why I have to keep slurping on my spit. Otherwise it's going to just drool out of my mouth. Um, but yeah, so we're going to turn him into Gerwalk and it's going to be very, very similar to how the Gerwalk actually works in Macross. We're gonna pop that nose cone off. Oh, and you can do it by sliding the chest up and dislodging it. This nose cone actually is a much tighter fit than um, Dreadwings is, and probably because this is the the first mold. Um, I still have difficulty, you know, bending the nose back there and having when you're in the default mode having this sit flush. But I think that's a known issue with everyone's uh, copy, right? With the engineering and stuff. So now we're just going to return his head back to the way it was, and we're going to we're going to close this all up like we're going into jet mode. Dude, how come I can't get his head in there? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. And actually, what this resembles, even the blue one, uh, the green the green color is very 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 reminiscent of Genesis Climber Mospita, uh, known as the new generation in Robotech. And in Robotech, this is called the Alpha Fighter. Um, in Mospita, it's called the Legios. And the Guardian Gerwalk mode uh, in Mospita is called like the Armo Diver or something like that. And um, it, it it looks very similar to this. I mean, to be to be quite honest, it's kind of funny how it just works out like that. The color is very similar. Um, and it would probably look even more like it if I didn't have the shoulder pauldrons there. But... Um, you know, what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? Yeah, I can't remember. I, I popped them off once before, and I thought, oops, and I thought putting them back was a little problematic, so I stopped doing it. Uh, but I remember, I think it was Punchy, Punchy the dog uh, from Punchy's lab, who actually did this same mode, but he kept these on, and it looked good on his mode. I just don't remember how he did it. Uh, I, I should have probably consulted it before this video. So yeah, you just bend the legs forward. You just saw what I did, right? And then you just kind of f f Bobby Flay out the arm. Bobby Flay, is he still popular? You guys, you guys know that, that, that chef? Uh, I don't know. I don't watch Food Network anymore. Dude, I used to watch Food Network religiously with my wife, dude. Like all those game shows, all the cooking shows, all of that. But uh, we don't really watch that stuff anymore. But yeah, Bobby Flay was uh, one of those celebrity cooks. But okay, here we go. Gerwalk mode. And if he's a little nose heavy, you can you need to just adjust it so you get it right. And if, it, he, if he's way too heavy, then you can have the gun kind of... That looks really bad. Hold on. And yeah, it, look, it does look like he's kind of popping a squat, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Everybody got to pop a squat sometime, right? Um, hmm. I, had him, I, I had him positioned earlier pretty well, but let's just pretend that's, that's what it is. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Not that, not that satisfying to me. Um, I don't know. It's something like that. But you just mess around with it until you get into the configuration that you like. And uh, yeah, you can do this kind of Gerwalk Armo Diver mode over here. Yeah. Anytime I get a jet transformer, I I, uh, I try to make it into a girl walk. Let 
Maybe that's a little bit better. It's that really iconic pose, you know, where he has the legs spread out like this and the arms are kind of spread out. And actually, if you watch Macross, this almost re resembles that one part in Macross where um, they're on the Zentradi ship and then Max's VF-1A, the white and blue one, he has to steal the um, the jacket from the Zentradi uh, soldier, which is this color. And then there's a there's a point where he's in Gerwalk mode and he's like shh, flying and it's this color due to, uh, due to the way that the, the jacket color is. But anyway, all right, let's just say... That's that. And then we have this version right here. And they are them. And we are we. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. I really, really like these guys. Yeah. I can't wait to learn more about them. I hope there's some type of like lore. Um, I don't know, something that comes out that, that actually binds this universe together. Because in terms of like purchasing agency, like one of the reasons like why you purchase is it's because you, you want to relive some moment or they mean something to you. And I, and I know that they were in cartoons before. But in their current form, somehow tied to the legacy universe, similar to how the Netflix series, how we had that. I wish there's something upcoming as well. Um, I know some people criticize the Netflix series and stuff like that. I don't know. I really enjoyed all of them. Um, and, and I really like the fact that I have these toys that remind me of them. It's all kind of like G1-esque for me all over again. And so really happy uh, to be a collector in these fine times. And so, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, friends, you have provided 12 minutes of your time, 12 minutes that is helping the ad revenue and especially um, or is, is, is providing ad revenue and helping the algorithm, especially if you're watching till the end. I've said it over and over, you know, these views help make money for impoverished families. And so do know that you are making a difference while being hopefully entertained. OK, yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye.